This lovely 64 box AC4 just came in. I say lovely despite the uh, signs of, of lots of wear on it. The, uh, the wooden bracket, you know, the little strip that goes in front of the speaker is not broken. So this is just cosmetic. I'm sure the speaker is either fine or can be reconed if necessary. The owner wants to have the grill cloth replaced. And I said, that is not in my wheelhouse. I did that once on a 67 box. And that's why I have so much gray hair today that between that and my kids. And uh, I'm gonna leave that to an upholstery shop. But the rest of it, I can handle. The owner says it's not sounding its best. I've not plugged it in yet. I wanna take a look at it first to make sure nothing's on the verge of exploding. And then we'll see exactly how bad it sounds, if it sounds. It's got the little blue speakers. Hopefully they're good. And uh, everyone's favorite, brass flathead screws. Vox amplifier, manufactured in England by Jennings Musical Industries Limited. AC mains only. High voltage warning. I always ignore that. You should not. I always do. Ooh. It's had some work. Some sloppy, sloppy work with some silicone, but let's see what, what all is going on. It's got a replacement slider board with little bits of styrofoam to make it fit in there. And these uh, non-original metal inserts to receive the screws. Uh, are not quite, that one's at least not all the way in the wood. I'll see what I can do about that. Got a little bit of a bend in the chassis. It's loose on the on the slider board and it's the, the slider board is not the right height. So there's uh, quite a few things we can improve on this. But uh, let me take a look through and Besides just general ugliness, see if I see anything worrisome. Well, I'm seeing a lot of Mullard and Brymar. That's good. Brymar EF86. Got a nice coating of dirt, some scratches. Uh, maybe there was a serial number or not, that wouldn't be a serial number. Maybe someone had some identification there. It's got scratched off at some point. It's got a loose cage nut, which you can't see in this shot. I'll tighten that up. Seems to be original on the transformers. Copper panels in pretty good shape, dusty. That uh, does not look like an original power switch, but that's okay. The knobs seem to be original. We've got a new terminal strip here. Some uh, axials in place of the old can cap. It's got changed out resistors on the output tubes. It's had some fiery death show stuff happen in the past, but. That's uh, almost unavoidable and should clean up just fine as long as the sockets aren't charred. And if the sockets are charred, I can clean those up as well. The chassis itself has got the typical bend in it. I'll see if I can straighten that out a little bit. I don't mean to be blase about any of this, you know. It's a lot of ticky-tacky methodical work necessary, but it's the same stuff almost all of these need. The uh, chassis were just never very strong to begin with. I can see that almost all the resistors in here have been changed out, some better than others. This probably all works. It's just not a very good way to do things, and it's not very lovely. It's got an added fuse holder here, which is a tight squeeze in here. It's got some caps on the non-original power switch. That power switch is infinite overkill for the uh, current of this amp. Voltage selector switch. I already talked to the owner about that. We're going to leave this here cosmetically, but hardwire it to 115. So definitely new smaller power switch. Probably recap it all because all the previous recapping was done so ugly. Ugly? Fugly. Overall, it's in pretty good shape, though. I don't think this is going to be that problematic. Let me hook up a uh, speaker and we'll take it for a test of that theory. Well, I've got it hooked up to my speaker cab and and uh, as you could probably see earlier in the video, and I wasn't paying attention to it because I was focused on other things, this amp's already been hardwired for a voltage. The voltage selector is not actually in use, but uh, it's been hardwired to 240 volt use. So I've got it hooked up to my step-up transformer, and I've played it a bit, and it's a little bit noisy. I'll let you hear that in the background. Just random Rice Krispies and stuff. Nothing too shocking given uh, 
the kind of uh, slapdash approach to repairing this thing in the past and how much heat those old sockets have had and how much dirt everything's got on it. Uh, the tubes may be, some of the preamp tubes may be noisy. The preamp tubes may be fine. It's just the sockets that are funky. You know, for those of you who've seen me do this on other JMIs before, no big deal. It's got the original transformers. It's got the original Wema Gold tropofoils, uh, and it has the right, you know, bones to it. It'll it'll come back to a beautiful life, but I've got to order some parts and wait for them to arrive before that next step happens, and that'll be fun for everyone to watch. So maybe uh, round about Thanksgiving, this will be done. <laughs>